What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to be showcasing one of my absolute favorite units in this game, Kefla at rainbow status. Just look at her man, so freaking beautiful. As a quick side note, if you're watching this video before September 28th, 2018, then you'll actually have a chance to win this account that I'm using for the showcase. It has 14 LRs as well as a bunch of other awesome units such as this Rainbow Kefla. I'll put a link to the giveaway video in the description down below, so go check it out if you're interested in entering the contest. But anyways, back to the showcase, let's take a quick look at what this girl can do. Here are her stats, and the attack stat in particular is quite high for a non Dokkan Fest unit. She is a Pratara leader, giving all Pratara units key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. While we'll be using LR Vegito as our leader for today's showcase since he provides a larger attack boost, I actually know quite a few people who prefer using Kefla as their main Pratara leader for the more balanced buff. Also, if you don't have LR Vegito, then Kefla is still an amazing leader to use. As for her super attack, it causes immense damage and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. Her passive is basically a combination of AGL, Khalifla, and Physical Kale, which I think is really cool from a design perspective. So she changes int key orbs to physical key orbs, gains 12% attack and defense for each key orb obtained, has a medium chance to dodge the enemy's attack which is equivalent to about 30%, and always launches an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack which is equivalent to 50%. Overall, Kefla is a very complete unit. She is an orb changer, a nuker, she has Khalifa's dodging, Kale's additionals, and she is also a fantastic leader. I'm sure at this point you're starting to see why I love this unit so much. Honestly, she's good enough to be a Dokkan Fest unit, but I'm glad that I decided to put her in the general pool so that more people can pull her. Alright, now that's out of the way, let's jump right into the showcase. We'll be taking her through the LR Vegito event on an LR Vegito team because why not? If there's time at the end, we might also hit up UI Goku as well. Here we go. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but Kefla could be the best female unit in Dokkan right now. Yeah, she might just be. I mean, there's Tech 18 who's very, very solid. We have Kale, Khalifa, but she's like a better version of those two combined. We also have... Rebrian. <laughs> Yo, guys, don't laugh, okay? Physical Rebrian actually is a pretty solid unit. Uh, what else do we have? We have Pandel, who's a great support for fusions. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think she might be the best female unit in this game. And I'm still holding off for that LR Android 18, by the way. So, <laughs> yo, if LR Android 18 comes out, then she by far, no matter how like good her stats are, how good her abilities are, whatever it is, like <laughs> she's gonna be number one in my heart. But aside from that. I think, I think she might be the best. Yeah, Kefla might be, No, wait. No, wait. I totally forgot about Android 21. Is Android 21 better than Khalifa, though? Yeah, probably. She probably is. She's got Fierce Battle, and she's got that transformation, too. But at the same time, Kefla's category is better. She's got the dodging and additionals. I don't know. It's pretty close. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. You know, is Khalifa better, or Kefla better, or Android 21, just in terms of their Dokkan cards? Well, I mean, if you can let me know which one you prefer as a character too, I wouldn't be too mad at that too, at, at that either. But in my heart, Kefla will always come on top in that battle. <laughs> and of course, of course, I'm doing the showcase right now, and Khalifa or man, I'm gonna call yo guys. Just, just to warn you, I'm gonna be calling her Khalifa or Kale like a lot in this showcase, just because I get confused sometimes. I'm like, yo, what, what am I? What am I even like? Because she, she's like both of them, right? So. Sometimes I'm going to say Khalifa, sometimes I'm going to say Kale, hopefully sometimes I'll say Kefla correctly as well, but if I say that, just like, you know, don't mind, don't mind, I'm just going to give you guys some warning right now. But of course Kefla is in the last rotation, like I said in my past showcase videos, the character I'm trying to showcase always ends up in the last rotation, so they always come out as late as possible, which kind of sucks, because, you know, they get like a lot of the other units, and this team is very strong, right, so they're going to get in a ton of attacks, and just blast through the first couple of stages that I'm trying to showcase the actual character on, but it's fine. You know what, I'm going to stop complaining, we got, <laughs> we got Ke uh, Kefla here, and I'm going to link her up with... Okay, so for attack, it doesn't really matter which one I link her up with, but she does get Fused Fighter with AGL Super Vegito, so we're going to keep that there for now. And uh, hopefully we can get her linked up with um, Vegito, actually, because the, the, the attack Vegito, that is, because, you know, of course, they both have Fierce, not, not Fierce Battle, but 
uh, Fuse Fighter and also the Vegeta will give her that 30% attack boost too. So she got the dodge off right there. And yo, that's a nice attack stat right there. One mil, over one mil attack stat. Keep in mind she does attack twice. And I didn't really pay attention to how many orbs we got there. So she didn't get she didn't get the additional super off, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. She got the second dodge too. So two out of three dodges, not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Of course, it is a 30% chance to dodge, so that, that's not too bad that we got two of them out of three. So I think solid showing right there. Um, you know, damage was good. If you add up the two attacks, that was about 1.2 mil. And if she got the second super off, that would have been easily over 2 million. So good job, Kale. Or <laughs> damn it, Kefla. Good job, Kefla. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's like, it's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna throw this guy in the back here because I want him to link up with Khalifla. Kefla, Kefla, eventually. Yo, guys, I'm not, I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear. I swear to God, I'm not doing this on purpose. Oh. <sighs> Gonna take a breather. Gonna try my best to focus so that I don't call her Khalifla or Kale. She's Kefla. Kefla. The fused one. Kefla. My god. Uh, but between the two, if I was to like, you know, say which one I like better between Khalifla or Kale, I was, I've was i always been Team Khalifla, man. Like, always, always. Whenever people ask me that question, they're like, yo, do you like Khalifla better or do you like Kale better? I'm like, yo, yo, 100%. 100% it's, um, it's Khalifla, man. I don't know. She's just she just always appealed to me more. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight orbs there. Eight times twelve, that's um, ninety six, right? Yeah, that's ninety six percent. It's boost. So you know something to keep in mind. And I'm gonna only I'm only gonna do that a few times. I'm not gonna like count out the orbs every single time, but just for the few attacks, first few attacks when we're trying to do the showcase. Okay, so we got. Uh, 8 orbs, and it's the same tax status last time, so I'm guessing we got 8 last time as well, and let's see how much this does. Not bad, 739, and another additional super, so that's over 2 million total attack stat if you think about it. Just combine the two, and can we get a crit off? We got a crit off with her too, so 1.7... Kefla, yo, showing out, and I'm so glad I called her Kefla correctly that time, because if there was a time to call her name correctly, it was that time where she got triple supers off, did over 2 million damage to Vegito and also dodge and is tanking hard man she's tanking hard because she does get the defense buff on her passive too for like every orb she obtains so she's doing really really well seriously guys like doing really really well of course Vegito does or the LR Vegito we're fighting right now he does get a damage reduction for the event so you know she would be doing even more damage on some older events too if you're taking her on I don't know like SJ4 Vegeta or like you know like final form cooler whatever event you want to take her on like in the older events where there's less damage reduction she'll be doing even crazier damage but that was awesome that was really awesome and um Vegito's gonna be dying soon so i'm guessing that we should probably go into ui goku like i promised in the beginning because i feel like this showcase is not long enough to give you guys a good idea of how good she is and also i want to change some orbs too yeah because i brought some orb changing items didn't get to use them at all in this event you know LR Vegito, for how good of a unit he is, it really his event is really not hard at all. And LR Gogeta is the same thing. Both of their events are really, really easy. UI Goku, by far, still has them bested for harder harder events. But I don't even think he has the hardest event. What, what would be the hardest event in Dokkan right now? Let me take a quick look through the list, actually, because I I don't really know. Okay, we're going to go to challenges. going to go back here. And uh, let's see, Harunagarn is just really, really annoying, but I don't know if he would be the hardest. It's UI Goku. These two guys aren't too hard either. either. Um, yeah, I don't know actually. Maybe Jiren, because I haven't, I haven't fought the Jiren one on JP yet, because I don't really play JP too much. But let me know if you guys are JP players and you have a little bit of experience with that. What do you think is the hardest event in Dokkan at the moment? I think on global right now, it still might be UI Goku. Like just for a regular Dokkan event, we're not, of course, counting events like Super Battle Road or Easy A's because, you know, a lot of those Easy A's have these Dokkan events bested. Like SSJ3 Goku Easy A, like on the harder levels, past 20, those are a lot harder than any of these Dokkan events. But just as a regular Dokkan event, I think on global, UI Goku is still number one. And then... Mm, I don't know, maybe like, maybe the new Goku and v Frieza are like, just behind that, maybe Harunagarn is behind that because of the dodges, 
That is freaking annoying. Like, I really, really hate running Harutan Garden. Tapion, Tapion, the AGL one, like, <laughs> he's okay, right? He has his uses, but just, just for how, like, underwhelming <laughs> of a unit he is. Um, and also, yo, guys, if you're Tapion fans, I'm sorry, like, don't get upset. I'm just saying, like, as a category lead, I expected a little bit more out of him. Of course, he's awesome for certain events. He's a great tank and things like that. The transformation is sick. But just, like, you know, I expected a little bit more from AGL Tapion. But just for, like, what he is... His event is really, really ridiculously annoying to run, <laughs> and awakening him was such a pain in the ass. But you know, it, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I'm just, just, just you know, ramblings of a madman. But yeah, um, I think UI Goku might be the hardest at the moment. So this will be a good showcase for Kefla too, since you know we, we kind of want to see what she can do against some of the harder events in this game. And I think she'd be she. I haven't. Nev I've never tried her on Super Battle Road, but I think she would actually do okay on Super Battle Road as well, just because she does have the tanking with her passive. But you, 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 again, you can't bring Orb Changers because you need to bring healing items and like damage reduction items. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't really speak to her efficacy on Super Battle Road. If you guys have tried her out on Super Battle Road, give me, give me some ideas. You know, let me, let me know how, how it went because I'm actually kind of curious to hear how she did for you. Okay, so we have mm, not too many op good options for orbs. Why don't we try changing one of these so all red to orange and get her a few more orbs here let's see one two three four five six seven eight uh oh this is a little bit more two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay eleven orbs for kefla of course she's going against damage um she's going against type disadvantage so if she doesn't get a crit she's not gonna do a ton of damage but i'm hoping she gets a crit and um you know at the same time you can see a little bit of what she can do against type disadvantage, I guess. She tanked that for 10 damage though. Her attack stat went up to 1.25 mil. And her super attack animation is absolutely a bomb. Another reason why I absolutely love this unit. And nice, nice crit right there. And another additional. Yo, she gets additionals for days, man. Yo, that's the that's the second time in a row she's getting two attacks back to back. Or like two additional attacks back to back. Can we get a crit? No crit though. Yo, crit would have been perfect. But she's tanking this guy very, very hard. I love that. And dodge dodging the, the super. Kefla, yo, my girl. She's my girl. I, I absolutely love her. Like I said, she will always come on top against Android 21. But, you know, I, I do concede that Android 21 is an absolutely awesome unit as well. So, like I asked in the beginning of this video, let me know which ones you guys think which one you guys think is better. Do you, do you think Android 21 as a card is better or Kefla is better as a card? Um, to me, it's pretty close, but Android 21 probably, probably takes the cake on this one. At least a little bit, you know, it, it's, it's like kind of close, but not the, you know, <laughs> like I, I think Android 21 just overall with the transformation mechanic, Fierce Battle, and some other factors does... Oh, shoot! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, additional... Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that was stupid. I was not paying attention and we just died. Okay, um, I'll be back. I'll be back. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I was super excited about what I was talking about, that I wasn't focusing on what was happening in the game. But it's okay, because we're back here now, and I was able to actually set up this kind of mini nuke, not with a Debrura cookie, just with some orb-changing items. So let's see what she can do with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 orbs, almost the full board. Um, no, that's actually, I would have used, used a Debora cookie for this showcase, but this account doesn't actually have any Debora cookies, which is kind of weird, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's see what she can do against UI Goku's first form. Almost 2 million, almost 2 million attacks. That, keep in mind, no Debora cookie use. This is just regular orbs. 1.2 mil, can she get... Another additional, oh man, yo, that would be nice, that would be nice, but you know what, that was good damage, that was really, really good damage. Okay, by the way, just wanted to say thank you to everyone for the overwhelming response to my account giveaway. In less than three days, we have close to 9,000 entries, it's almost over 9,000, almost over 9,000. Um, I mean, I get it, it's a really, really nice account, so, you know, people are excited about it, and the contest is still open for another four days from the time of this filming so get your entries now if you're really interested in getting this account of course you know the the chances aren't super high because there's so many entries but at this, at this end of the day man we, we're all dokkan players we understand how you know rates work and like we're kind of used to playing the odds and things like that so you never know like if you can pull people can pull like three or four lrs 
in one multi, which I've seen before, I've seen someone pull four LRs in a single multi before, then you know you always have a chance to win this account. So if you're interested in the account, then go take a look at the video, like I said, in the description down below. And uh, best of luck to all of you. I'll be doing a random comment picker thing at the end of this week, so on Friday. The winner will be decided by a random comment picker. And you know, if your comment comes up and you get lucky, then the account is yours. I'll message you, send you over the transfer information, and we'll be good to go, all right? That sounds good to you, then uh, just go get your entries in. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's all I have to say on the topic. Just really, really crazy, crazy response that I wasn't expecting at all. Ooh, transformation, yo. That's lit, that's lit. I rarely get this transformation off. Like, it, it just happens so, so rarely because, I mean, most of these Dokkan events just aren't hard enough. <laughs> the only event that I've gotten this Super Vegito transformation off on is probably Haruda Garden's event. Yeah, the Tapion Haruda Garden event, just because, you know, that with the dodges and everything, it gives, gives me more opportunities to have more turns pass by and things like that. But, um,. Yeah, let's let's see let's see let's see this let's see uh, what this guy can do too. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him in rotation and get those counters off. He'll probably finish off you at Goku. Um, why don't we change some orbs as well? So this would be let's see blue to red, and I'm gonna change the red as well to um, orange. I don't know why they call it orange by the way. It's it's not orange. They're they're, they're yellow key spheres, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, is this more or this more? This is. Uh, they're the same, right? Same? Okay, so take those Kefla. And then Vegito can have these, these ones. Probably just finish off you at Goku, but you know what? The showcase is going a little bit long anyway, so it's a good time to cut it off. And yeah, Kefla, another dodge right there. 1.6 mil attacks that. Show me something nice. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Come on. You can do it, Kefla. You can do it, Kefla. Yeah, 1.46 mil, look at that, and additional over 3 million combined attacks that right there. Jesus, amazing unit guys, absolutely amazing unit, 1.4 mil again, oh my god, triple, yo, she might just finish off Yua Goku right here. Yo, what a way to go out, man, yo, please crit again, crit again. Oh, no crit, but yo, guys, that was the perfect way, I, <laughs> perfect way to end up the showcase, what can I say? What can I say? Kefla knew we were showcasing her. She wanted to show out for us. This girl is amazing. Guys, if you have her, invest, invest some orbs into her. And at this point, a lot of people should. She's been featured on quite a few banners, like two or three banners from what I can recall, on Global at least. And also, she's in every single banner, so she can always pop up as an unfeatured unit. But that was freaking awesome, guys. <laughs> there you have it. This is Rainbow Kefla. She just finished off the final stage of UI Goku by herself, soloed it. Absolute monster. Might be the best female character in this game. There is Android 21, but I don't know. Like, it, it, it's, it's still a debate in my mind. It's not, you know, a done deal. So if you guys have some opinions, let me know in the comments down below who you think is better, Android 21 or Kefla. But I think she's freaking amazing, no matter what anybody says. Amazing unit, there's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.